Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, in how many ways two prizes be given to 10 students if no student gets more than one prize? Second case is, if a student may get both prizes. So what is a given question? There are two prizes and how many ways you can give these two prizes to 10 students. So first case is no student gets more than one prize. So the first prize can be given in how many ways? The first prize can be given in 10 ways. Any of the 10 students the first prize can be given. So there is no problem in that. Now second prize how many ways the second prize can be given? The first condition is no student gets more than one prize. So one first prize has already been given to one student that same student should not get the second prize so how many ways in which the second prize can be given it can be given in nine ways already the first prize is given to a particular student so that student should be excluded for getting the second prize so only nine ways or there are only nine students to which the second prize can be given or there are only nine ways in which the second prize can be given so in total 10 into 9 is equal to 90 ways the two prizes can be given if a student cannot get more than one prize. Now second case, second case is a student may get both prizes. There is no problem. A student can get two prizes. The first prize can be given in 10 ways. Now second prize how many ways it can be given? Second prize can also be again given in 10 ways. There is no condition like one student should not receive both the prizes. One student may get both prizes. So the second prize also can be given in 10 ways. So in total 10 into 10 is equal to 100 ways you can distribute the prizes. Okay. So the first case is the first prize can be given in 10 ways but the second prize can only be given in 9 ways because one student should not get both the prizes. So there are 90 ways of distributing the two prizes. Second case a student may get more than one prize. So first prize can also be given in 10 ways. Second prize can also be given in 10 ways. So in total there are 100 ways in which the distribution can be done. Now second question in how many ways can four prizes be distributed to eight students if each student can get any number of prizes. There is no restriction on the number of prizes received by a particular student. So you can say the first prize can be given in how many ways? The first prize can be given in 8 ways. It can be given to any of the 8 students. Now what about second prize? Second prize can again be given in 8 ways. There is no restriction. Each student can get any number of prizes. So second prize can also be given in 8 ways. The second prize can also be given to any of the 8 students. Now third prize can again be given in 8 ways. And fourth prize can be again given in 8 ways. So in total how many ways are there? So 8 into 8 into 8 into 8 which gives you 8 raised to 4 ways. So there are 8 raised to 4 ways in which these prices can be distributed. In an examination a minimum of 40 percentage marks is to be scored in each of the 6 subjects to pass. In how many ways can a student fail? So what is the given question? In an examination minimum 40 percentage marks is to be scored in each of the 6 subjects to pass. So how many ways can a student fail? So for one subject what are the different outcomes? We are having only two outcomes for a subject either pass or fail. So there are two possibilities for one subject. Then for the second subject again there are two possibilities again a pass or a fail. Now third subject also there are again two possibilities either a pass or a fail. So similarly up to six subject there are two possibilities each. So there are how many total possibilities? So two into two into two into two into two or two raised to six. So for one subject there are two possibilities. So for six subjects there will be two raised to six. So two raised to six possibilities are there for the particular student or there are two raised to six possibilities for the six subjects. Now what is the possibility to pass? In order to pass there is only one possibility that means the student should pass in all the 
six subjects if the student passes in all the six subjects then the student will be passed for the exam so there is only one possibility 2 raised to 6 means there are total of 64 possibilities and for passing there is only one possibility so there are in total 63 ways in which the student can fail so 63 ways the student can fail so in total there are two possibilities each for one subject so there are total 6 raised 2 raised to 6 possibilities 64 ways are there 64 ways of either passing or failing the subject but for passing means there is only one way to pass the student should pass in all the 6 subjects so 64 minus 1 is equal to 63 so there are 63 ways in which the student can fail now again one another question if you are considering there are 10 yes or no questions okay so there are 10 yes or no questions in how many ways these questions can be answered or how many ways these questions can be solved so one question can how how many possibilities there are two ways in which one question can be answered for again the second question there are again two ways of answering the second question yes or no third question also again there are two possibilities so for 10 questions there will be 2 raised to 10 all these are multiplicative questions so 2 into first question can be answered in two ways second question can again be answered in two ways third question can again be answered in two ways so you will be multiplying 10 times 2 you will be multiplying 10 times so there will be 2 raised to 10 ways of answering these 10 yes or no questions so all these are multiplicative each instance you will be finding out the number of possibilities and then you have to multiply the possibilities for all the instances to get the total number of ways thank you for watching